Hey guys, it's Grace. I'm Gabrielle's best friend, and I'm going to be doing the voiceover today because Gabrielle's so lazy. Um, so I'm going to um, tell you how to do these pineapple nails with glitter and purple polish. So first, Gabrielle is painting on the glitter polish, and she's just doing it with a regular brush, but it's not working out so well. There's a lot of her nail left, as you can see. So then she decided to change her mind and um she <laughs> Sorry, got rustling next to me. She's annoying. Hi guys. And um she put liquid latex around her nail and it's purple, her favorite color. And she's going to dab on the sparkles because this way is gonna work easier than the other one. And hopefully it will get all of the sparkle on your nail easier. Because, you know, it's a lot easier to do it that way than to paint it on. Stop laughing! It's just a beautiful head. Okay, and so that coat did not work, so she went to do another one. And she painted that on and dabbed it on her nail. And that worked a lot better than painting it on, as you guys can see. And then she decided to go back to painting it on for a final layer to finish it off. And it's all sparkly now. Looks so pretty. <laughs> so then she put off the liquid latex. And there's her nail. Okay, so now the next one is the pineapple nail with the sunglasses on so she started off with a white base a white polish as a base coat <laughs> kind of what I'm talking about and she painted that on and then she's gonna do the pineapple so she has a little brush it's very tiny and some yellow paint not nail polish paint acrylic paint to be exact, and um, she's making like the little curvy thing in the shape of a pineapple. You know, it's not like a circle, but it's not like an oval either. <laughs> it's kind of like half an oval, right? Yay. Kind of. And so <laughs> then, after she made that little circle thingy, she's filling it in because you know pineapples aren't white; they're yellow. <laughs> and so I'm pretty sure that took a couple of coats but she's getting past that so next she's doing the uh, little what's it called yeah, no the green stuff at the top oh leaves yeah like the little leaves things on top <laughs> sorry I'm really tired right now <laughs> and um, she just has green acrylic paint for that and um, she's making the little triangle ovaly thingies these don't make any sense either I feel like there's not like a lot of defined shapes in a pineapple <laughs> it's just shapes lines, dots curves. okay so then that zoomed in and then she's going to outline it because why wouldn't you outline it? Just makes it look better. And so she's taking black acrylic paint and outlining the stem thingy. That's what it's called, stem. And the leaves. It's not. Mm. It's not the stem. The, the, that's the top part. I know how pineapples grow. We have 15 million pineapple plants out front. They grow in, from like the bottom going up. Okay, so well, that's not the stem. That's the leaves. Yeah, that's the leaves. Pineapple pokey things. Okay, yeah, pokey things. And. <laughs> Is that yours? <laughs> I was it to was. Sorry. Yeah, Jillian just came in and threw a shirt at us. Um. So then she decided to outline the pineapple too because why would you just outline the leaves and not the whole pineapple? Because that would be weird and awkward. So she's just outlining that circle and 
yeah, it takes a long time to do that. Because it has to be perfect. You know, your lines can't get messed up. <laughs> <laughs> And so she's almost done with that little line. And that's a very tiny brush there. And so that is the finished outline. And then we're going to do the lines across the pineapple. You know, the little lines that make the pineapple look weird. I don't actually know why they're there. It makes it look cool. Like. Yeah, it makes it look cool. So, first you start out by doing a, a line down the middle, and this is using black acrylic paint, as you can see. And so, she did one at the topper, <laughs> topper, <laughs> the upper half as well, and the bottom half. So, one in the middle, and then one at the top, and one at the bottom. Kind of evenly divides that. And then, you're going to do the lines the other way, because... That's how pineapples look. Don't do them just one way. And so she did one down the middle, like last time, because you want to make it easier. Or <laughs> easier. <laughs> Even. <laughs> and so then she's also going to do one um, on the topper half. Top, why do I keep saying that? Bottom half <laughs> and upper half. And, as you guys can see, it makes little squares. I didn't actually notice that till a couple minutes ago. Actually, it was the beginning of the day. <laughs> this is the second time recording this. So. Awkward silence! Mm, sorry. And then, she's doing the sunglasses to the pineapple because they look cool on there. And... She started out with a white line because that's how top of sunglasses are. And then you come down and make a little half circle thingy. And then you do that on the other side because that's how sunglasses look again. And then she's going to fill in those little white circles because that'd be weird if you didn't. <laughs> with white acrylic paint as you can see and then you're just going to outline the sunglasses because everything else is outlined so you have to outline the sunglasses too guess why would I do that I guess That's a good question. I mean you don't have to but Gabrielle did so Probably makes it look better. I don't know. Now. <laughs> and then. Which sweet cheese? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mine. I don't know. Is yours really full? Probably. Mine's, mine's full. Yeah, mine's pretty full. Wait, oh. <laughs> this is awkward. Sorry, Jillian came talk to us again. <laughs> Jillian, Jillian said, said hi. She used to do the voiceovers, but then she got lazy and didn't do it. She's turning into me now. I probably will soon, too, but I was excited to do this one. It's really hard, though, because you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so now moving on, we're going to do little half circles inside the sunglasses because... It's like the shaded part of the sunglasses, kind of, you know? And, yeah, that's the finished product. So then, you're going to put a top coat over it. So she put a top coat over the sparkly nails. And also the pineapple nail. And so, just painting that top coat on. And... She also did purple magenta -y. it's like magenta color kind of nails to go along with it. So there's only a couple sparkled, a couple purple, and one pineapple nail. And she ended up doing a second top coat. I don't even know why, 
but she wanted that to be very secure, so. Well, it wasn't, like, poking out, and, like, the acrylic paint last. So the acrylic paint last, and it wasn't poking out. It all makes sense in the nail art world. And that is the finishing product. Thank you guys for letting me do the voiceover. Oh, wait, she's not done yet. <laughs> That's awkward. So then she's peeling off the nails. After a few days. I had them on for a few days, you guys. Yeah. This is not like immediately after she's done. I they were on for a couple I days. And so she's peeling them off slowly. Some of them look easy, but some of them looked really hard. <laughs> I think this one looked really difficult. Yeah, this is the one. It got stuck. <laughs> Not all and great ones. it just didn't want to come off. It just wanted to stay on that nail, man. <laughs> what was that for? I just threw a Disney Sim Sim at Grace's face. Yeah, and this one looked really easy. So. Uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. And letting me do the voiceover, even though it's probably really bad. Okay, well, please subscribe and like.